Theater Works Florida is a 501c3 Central Florida-based award-winning professional theater company that offers some of the finest theatrical musicals available today as well as produce new original works from area artists and artists from around the country. Coming up on Polk Place, we'll hear about their latest venture. Welcome to Polk Place, I'm Brian Lacey, and joining me in studio is Scott Cook. Scott is the artistic producer for, the for Theater Works Florida. Welcome to the show. Hi, it's good to see you again, Brian. Yeah, long time no see. Absolutely. Had that COVID thing going uh, on. And then, whatever. And then, like my buddy disappeared, didn't <laughs> hear from him. Everybody went yeah. in the hole. <laughs> and man, that had to be hard for you. Oh, so. it was all, you know, all of the theaters in the country, as we all know, from Broadway right on down to us, everybody shut down. Um, it was it was a horrifying experience for us as the industry because as everybody has learned, it started turning different ways to do things. Um, a lot of us survived with virtual programming mm -hmm. or just you know keeping up. Um, you know we didn't turn to a virtual program, but we did follow the Broadway model and we're always being safe and sort of our future planning. So it was really really hard. Because for us as a company, we had a new venture that was ready to launch September 2020, and it got shut down. So let's back up a sure. little bit. For those that may not know, what exactly is TheaterWorks? TheaterWorks Florida is a company that I opened with um, several other people in the area in 2007. And we are a professional theater. We are a 501c3 nonprofit. Um, and we sort of... Uh, opened the company to have something different in the Polk County area. We did find ourselves being pulled toward Orlando to tour. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we toured uh, different shows either into Orlando and then back out. Um, we did some touring here in Polk County with some of our uh, uh, great outreach programs that we had, uh, backed by the National Endowment for the Arts. We have an amazing uh, support in them. So uh, that's what we do. We do live musical theater, and as we continue to grow in this area, um, you know, vet, new venue coming up, uh, new programming coming up, um, all kinds of things. Well, for those that may not know, talk a little bit about your background and some of the folks, because sure, uh, you know, I don't, uh, I don't mean to pat you on the back, but brother, you got, <laughs> you got some stats behind you, I and do. so do the you rest know, of your I folks. Tell you, I've been doing professional theater since I was eight years old, and I'm amazingly blessed. Um, I come from upstate New York. I spent a lot of time in a uh, kids training company called Rhythm Light Touring Productions. They were affiliated with the, uh, let me say, the Rockettes. Um, they were also affiliated with things like U.S. Special Olympics and different things of that nature. So I grew up in that in that whole theater world. Uh, from there, I went on to do musical theater. I did some stuff up in New York, but found myself coming down to Florida for some strange reason. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> right? Got down here, did a 10-year stint as a performer for Disney, singer, actor, man. But right along that line, when that was happening, I started, I had my first uh, opportunity to direct in a small theater in DeLand, Florida. Uh, it was the show Godspell. And from there, just the world opened up and the universe said, you're going to be a director, producer, choreographer type. Um, I have a strong, strong dance background. I've worked with uh, Bob Fosse. I have worked with uh, Ace Mitchell. I have worked with Frank Hatchett. Uh, some of these names are more like dance people. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but just I've had such a well-rounded life in musical theater, which has been great. Um, so fast forward to like TheaterWorks Florida, um, I did 13 years. I worked at uh, Theater Winter Haven with a man named Norman Small, which all of us in Polk County yeah. seem to know who Norman Small is. Uh, he was my mentor in producing. That was awesome. Um, and from there, um, I just had an idea that I wanted to open a company and work with the Polk Theater. Uh, that didn't work out. There was like a lot of hand, you know, changing and stuff of that nature. But what we did find is uh, all of my dream team people wanted to be on board. Uh, one of our strongest is uh, Jim Beck. He is the chair of the music and dance department and the musical theater department for uh, Florida Southern College. Um, we have a ton of people from Disney who are affiliated with us. So it just sort of goes down the list that I've been fortunate. Now, the company turns 15 years old next year. We get our ruby anniversary nice. which is very exciting you yeah. know i can see the graphics now <laughs> but um you know and we've ha we've been so blessed i have to just say blessed because everywhere we've gone we've met amazing people we've brought amazing people on board um 
And so in 2017, we set foot down. We said, no more touring. We want to serve the Polk County area is what we want. We want a mm -hmm. home and we want to serve the arts here. Got just a few minutes left. Sure. I want you to touch briefly on programming. You've got three and one that's near and dear to my heart. So run through programming. Okay. So um, programming for us right now, we have a main stage series that is opening up uh, again, backed by the National Endowment for the Arts, thank God. And it is going to open in our new home venue at Belmoral mm -hmm. Resort, Florida. So if you've never heard of that, you can get online and you can Google where that is. Um, it's right there in Haines City off of Highway 27. Um, and we've got some great musicals coming up. You can buy package, you can buy single shows. Everything that you need to know is on our website and I'm sure you'll flash that somewhere oh, yeah. along the way. Um, our second programming is a uh, uh, we have a community outreach program called Theater Cares. Mm -hmm. And Theater Cares right now carries several different programs. We have the Vet Voices program, I love which that you're program. very, very familiar with. Yes, sir. Taking vets and introducing them to theater arts so that we can create a safe space for healing from any of the problems they may have had along the way being in the military. And it's been very successful for two years. We're hoping once we settle down in our new home, we can launch that program full mm -hmm. again because it got cut short because of the pandemic. We had to close it down in 20, well, 2020, right? When we all had to shut the country down. Mm -hmm. um, and that was very sad. Uh, we had a closing video of all of them. It was just very heart touching. Um, a brand new program that's coming up also in the Theater Cares realm is called Culture Works, Theater for All Cultures. We're into now um, backing the whole diversity and mm -hmm. inclusion uh, message that is out there on our, in our world because we have found that we're as a theater industry we are not including yeah. all of our our people of color and our our uh, LGBTQ and all of that so we've opened this program and we're starting to get some traction um, we find the pandemic is still scaring people to come out and do things but so yes yeah, so we have that and then another very exciting thing called class works has been sitting with us for almost 15 years we have a developmental class structure that is for training young all the way up to adults and we have been asked by um, the the resort Balmoral Resort which is actually owned by Feltrum Group mm -hmm. um, they are opening a private charter school and two days ago I've received a phone call that was asking TheaterWorks Florida to please handle all of their arts programming for the brand new school that will open in August of 2023. Scott, we talked briefly. We got about a minute sure. left. Um, a saving grace for you is the resort. Um, kind Absolutely. Of due to partnerships. Yes. In the past. Yes. Opened the door for this one. Talk to me a little bit about the importance of that local developer and what you're bringing to the county and, and what he saw in your value. Correct. Um, you know, it, it, and I'll try to do it quickly. Um, Gary and the, the Feltrum Group, um, which is the Belmore mm -hmm. Resort, um, were sponsors for us for two years. They were top sponsors. And when we had to shut down, I talked to Gary and I said, look, if, if um, you know, we're shutting down as a sponsor, it's my responsibility to let you know. And I, I said to him, if you ever want to build a theater and get involved with theater with us, just let me know. And I got an email 20 minutes later. But the importance of it for any arts programming is to have a community behind you and to have strong people behind you because they have resources beyond our means. Like, you know, we're looking at mm -hmm. building this brand exactly. new performing arts center um, two to three or four years from now. And I don't know how to do that. I need a developer. I need somebody who's with us that says we're going to partner up and we're going to make this amazing thing for Northeast Polk County. Well, Scott, I want to thank you for coming in. And you got to come back and see me when you got programming. Absolutely. And uh, we can talk uh, sure. specifics on that, all right? You've got it. You know I love being here, Brian. All right, come back and see me again soon, all right? Thank you. All right. Theater Works of Central Florida has established several diverse programming divisions working simultaneously within the corporation utilizing a strenuous yet realistic 10-year plan. TheaterWorks Florida will strive to become a highly respected regional theater company providing many performances with a wide realm of subject matter. Now if you need more information give them a call 407-340-0472 or look them up on the web at www.theaterworks.com fl.org.